Now we're over at the instrument to look at this idea of apodization. This is the dissolved CO2 in a soda. This is the peak due to that. Uh, so we're looking here at a fairly sharp peak in a liquid sample. And I wanna show the effect of reprocessing this with various different apodizations. Now this is what's called boxcar, so it has no apodization. Now I'm going to apply a moderate apodization to it, what's called a hap Genzel. You can see immediately the effect of apodization. It removes this noise, this Fourier transform noise you see all through here is largely damped out when I apply that particular apodization. And then if I apply an even heavier one, what's called the Blackman-Harris, this is the heaviest apodization we use, you can see the effect again. The peak is depressed a little bit. There's not much change in the line width, although there is a little bit. But the main thing you can see here is the effect in the wings. So there they are. You can see the three of them. The original unapodized data, the data apodized by Hap Genzel, and the data apodized by Blackman-Harris. Now let's hide all three of those and look at a different one. This will be a much higher resolution spectrum. This is carbon monoxide. So here we're looking at the high resolution spectrum of a gas phase sample. You can see how sharp these peaks are. They're very sharp and very narrow. Let's home in tightly on one. And once again, this is an unapodized spectrum originally. Let's see what happens now as we reprocess it and apply successfully heavier apodization to it. First of all, the Hap Genzel. And you can see when we do this, the peak is depressed significantly, the line width broadens, and these waves in the wings are definitely depressed. And if I apply the heavier apodization, apply to it the Blackman-Harris once again, you'll see that the peak is depressed even more. There's a significant broadening of the peak, and you can see overall the way the wings are damped out. So, Again, if we just compare them, the um, unapodized, you see very sharp peaks. As you apply apodization to this, the peak broadens. So the general rule of thumb, you're not gonna be worried about apodization. Most of the time, the defaults that are set as part of the instrument are gonna be totally adequate. The only time it's gonna matter when you switch over to a high resolution gas spectrum such as this, we were looking at this carbon monoxide spectrum, very narrow peaks. These are on the order of about 0.8 wave number, 0 0.08 wave numbers, I'm sorry, 0 0.08 wave numbers wide. So it's a very narrow peak. When you're dealing with liquids or solids, it's not gonna make a lot of difference. So it, then it becomes just a matter of being consistent. Most of the time, the default will be Norton Beer Strong or Hap Genzel or something like that. As long as you stick with it and are consistent, there will be no issue. So that's it for apodization.